Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with Creality's newest filament, Soylene. I have no idea how to say it, so that's how I'm going to say it. For those of you who have been with me for the long haul, you know Creality has long been my favorite and go-to filament. I have been talking about the quality and ease of use of Creality filaments since the early days. Hyper Series PLA is the real deal for fast printing. Creality CR PLA Matte. Why does it exist? Watch this. It's nice and strong. Holy cow, guys. Creality CR Matte Filament is awesome. Telling you the HP Ultra is a good filament. It almost looks like it's not 3D printed at all. The Creality K1 so far is performing well, both using Hyper Series Filament and the HP Ultra Series Filament. But look, it's absolutely beautiful Ender PLA on a P1P. Starting with... My very first favorite filament, Creality Ender PLA. Super easy to use. Down the line, Creality teamed up with HP and made HP Ultra. This is a very strong filament and became my go-to for cosplay masks. And if there's anything my friends at Creality are known for, it's releasing too many products. They followed that up with CR PLA. This is not a filament I hear about often, nor have I used a lot of. However, no surprise, it's a very good filament that prints very cleanly. Why does it exist? And what's the difference between CR and Ender? Who knows? However, it's another good filament. Fast forward a bit more and my favorite filament enters the conversation. Creality Hyper. Again, those of you who follow me across social media know this is my favorite and my go-to filament. I use Hyper every chance I get. Hyper initially launched in cardboard spools, which made me sad because I don't like sticking this in my bamboo AMS. Keep in mind, at this time, the Creality CFS had yet to enter the chat. Fast forward to present day, and Creality puts out yet another filament, this time, rather than choosing to reinvent the wheel, they brought us Hyper RFID Filament, which is their Hyper Filament in a new plastic spool with the RFID tag for their CFS systems to read. This was a happy day for me. I now use Creality RFID Hyper in my bamboo and Creality printers on a daily basis. This brings us to TCT Rapid. In Detroit, while my friend Joy from Creality was on stage, she discussed a new filament, Soylene. This left me somewhat confused. Creality has just launched their new RFID Hyper, and here they are talking about yet another filament. I probed a little bit, and I wanted to understand why would I, when making choices, go with Soylene over Hyper, or Hyper over Soylene. I didn't get any answers that left me confident in sharing them with you today. However, speaking of today, a package showed up from China. And what's inside? You guessed it. Soylene PLA. Of the many things Creality might be, one of them is kind and generous. So I thank them for sending this over. However, unfortunately, I only received two of the same color. This really doesn't help me work with them in an AMS or CFS. So what I did is pop on over to their website to see what other colors they have. And I was pleasantly surprised at the options and the pricing. Soylene is priced aggressively and it looks like they're focusing on exotic colors, light colors, neon colors, color changing filaments, etc. While other filaments such as Hyper have some of this, there isn't a lot and it's nice to see them expanding their colors. Why are they doing it with a new branded line? I'm not sure, but let's go have a look at those colors and some of the claims on Creality's shop about this filament. Also, there's one oddity about this filament. Stick around and we'll come back to it. Here I am on the Creality web store. It's worth noting the official real Creality store is store.creality.com or going to creality.com and clicking into the store. Don't be confused by fake Creality stores. Here is their Soylent Ultra PLA. You'll see right now, 
it's $11.99, saving $5 a spool according to this site. You'll see they have a fun list of colors, matte rose stone, matte fruant, matte moonstone, strawberry milk, rose hip, light green, almond purple, pineapple yellow, white, greenery, ocean blue, gray, and some of the basics such as black, matte white, matte black, matte gray. When combined with the base colors of black, white, and gray, these colors add up to a pretty complete line of filament, where Soylin virtually stand on its own to print entire projects. Why would we choose Soylin? Who knows? Let's have Creality tell us. It does seem they're very proud of the new colors, as it's the first thing they mention, color game and free combine. Free combine is a bit of a translation thing here. I think what they're saying is they do have enough colors to combine them all together and make complete projects within the Soylene lineup. They are saying it's good for fast printing. And right here is an interesting note, adhesion at its finest. Let's learn more about that by scrolling down. In multiple places on this website, they mentioned the high speed printing and they mentioned the quick cooling and shaping. They also mention all of the various colors and they go out of their way to point them out multiple times. Here again, they talk about high speed printing claiming that Soylene is ideal for high-speed printing compared to older filaments. If Soylene is similar to Hyper PLA, I'm going to take their word on this. I really don't care about the eco crap, but moving over here, they do mention adhesion again, adhesion at its finest, and they claim that is because it minimizes shrinkage and curling to help keep that print on the bed without peeling up. Back in the old days of the Enders, this was a pretty big issue and something 3D print users dealt with a lot. So there you have it. We now have Hyper PLA and Soylene Ultra PLA. What does this mean to us in the real world? I don't know, but I do like the colors. I do believe in Creality as a filament manufacturer and I look forward to testing it. Let's pop back over to my desk for a minute. Before I can give an opinion of any real value, I need to spend more time actually using this filament and I need to run it through AMS and CFS units. So I chose four colors off their web shop and dropped an order. When they come in, we'll put it through the test and we'll have a second conversation. However, remember that one oddity I mentioned earlier? Can you guess what it is? One of the nice things about Hyper PLA is they put it in the plastic spool for easier compatibility with the CFS. You'll notice their new Soylene filament is also in a plastic spool. Unfortunately, it's kind of boring. It's the old school black with a label in the front. However, that's fine. These are tried and true filament spools. However, however, do you notice something missing? Look a little closer. There it is. No RFID reader. Why on earth? is Creality shipping a new filament line in plastic spools with no RFID chip. I have found Reddit posts dated back four or so months claiming this filament has been on sale on eBay since that time. Somehow I must have missed that memo and perhaps Creality has too because they announced this at TCT Rapid as if it was something new. Is it or is it not? Have any of you guys seen or used Soylene in the past? Could this have been actually manufactured before the RFID chip? I have no idea. However, the RFID is a simple sticker and Creality, if they know it's good for them, best get it on the Soylene spools yesterday. Anywho, thanks to Creality's track record and the tremendous amount of projects I've done with it, Creality has a lot of goodwill here in my print shop. I am going to put Soylene to use and I have a suspicion it's going to turn out to be yet another quality filament. The only question is, why does it exist? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you want, drop by the Creality shop and pick some up. At the time of this video, it's on sale for a very attractive $11.99 a spool. I'm Greg Adventure and you're on 3D Rundown. So I highly recommend Bamboobs, Bamboobs, Creality's new Hyper Series PLA on their K1, their K1 Max, and even Bamboobs P1P or P1S. And of